Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're in the Hennessy Sports Show at York Hall. Joined by Mr. Lewis Smith, who moves 4 0. First things first, Lewis, do you want to assess your performance for me? Um, yeah, listen, first six rounds, a good six rounds out with a durable kid, you know, goes the rounds with everyone. Gave me exactly what I needed for, for right now in my career. Um, you know, I, I can just go by what my coaches say, and, and they said that, you know, I boxed well, I just kept to the boxing, that was the main thing. Is there any things that you worked on specifically that you sort of saw coming out when you was in there? Um, do you know what? Sticking behind the jab more, just popping out in someone's face, keeping it going, um, just so, you know, um, he couldn't get in and couldn't get anything going. So that was the main thing, really, and just, just my movement, not, not falling in with it. I'm just I'm planting the shots well and, and doing my work and not getting bored punching. Do you know what I mean? With some journeymen, you know, you, you get a bit bored and want to try some different things. I stick, I stick to what, what was working for me there. So it's pretty clear you had it all under control. But um, did he give you any trouble? He was a bit flashy at times, didn't he? Um, a bit showboating. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what he was? But um, he caught him with a couple of shots and they didn't bother me. But he he was saying to me, "Oh, I'll let you, I'll let your legs." Like unstiffen and stuff, and I was just like, oh, cool. Like, that's that's his game. That's what he's gonna do. So yeah, he was flash, and he was trying to lead me in. That's why when I when I was going in, you know, when he was trying to lead me up to the top and trying to get me up with the head, I was just leaning in, getting it down to the body, just show, changing it up a little bit. I had a little bit of a look at your career before today and sort of where you've been fighting, and you turned pro in 2017. You need a back end of 2019 now, and you've only had four fights. Is that something that you sort of want to look to increase? Next yeah, year, be a bit more active. Still out, Dell. Um, yeah, do you know what? Um, I mean, I boxed my first couple of shows on the IFL TV uh, platform with MTK, um, and then I, had, you know, I had some family stuff, and I, I quit the sport for about eight months. So I lost eight months there, um, and I boxed at Brentwood on the MTK show in May. Um, just to get back out, found the hunger again, and then, and then we're back out. Now, I had an injury, pulled me off of the July card in, in Brentwood as well. Um, so I had, I had a thigh injury, so I had to pull out, and I couldn't exercise for about 10 weeks. Um, so it's just been really getting myself back to fitness, getting strong. Um, yeah, no, I'm feeling fitter and better than ever, and I think that showed in the six rounds tonight. My pace didn't dip. I was always constantly there. So, so yeah, I mean, listen, next year, you know, we're going to be out again. Is that yeah. you done for the year now? Will we see you out in December uh, maybe? I mean, I'll stay fit anyway yeah. um, over the Christmas period, keep my fitness up and stuff. And if someone comes calling, um, then we can go from there. But if not, we're going to 2020. Um, mad to say that because the year's gone <laughs> so quick. But um, going to 2020 and, and look look for some good 50-50s as well. You know, I'm not afraid I'm not afraid to lose. So we'll go out there. Any, any light, light weights, light, light water weights, I can make both weights, so we can go. Map it out for me, what's the perfect 2020 look like? Is there a certain amount of fights you're looking at? Um, like four or five? You know what? Or? I don't really plan too far ahead. Um, my career's always been one step at a time. You can't in this field. No, that's, that's true, but with, with our Alec Wilkie by my side, managing me and coaching me, um, we just take one step at a time. I've come from you know amateur boxing where I wasn't great, um, and now look at me. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm improving every day, but at the end of the day, Perfect 2020, boxing, keeping fit, keeping you know mentally fit as well, and just just having a good round year. And just finally, a word on your fans. Um, do they support Charlton or something? Cause yeah, they do, yeah. And they, they never mentioned it, mate. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could hear Valley Floyd Road. Good singing. support out there. Yeah, no. Um, you know, some of the players are here. Um, Chris Solly, Dylan Phillips. Uh, I think Jake Forster Caskey's here as well from a Charlton. You know, I'm a season ticket holder, so. Yeah, they were loud out there, and there was only not so many Charlton fans there, but you could hear them for sure. So, so yeah, massive, massive support. Thank you to everyone that bought tickets, um, and if I can, just say thank you to all my course, sponsors. Mate, um, I've got DNEL Events Logistics, uh, Darren and Dave that support me, um, Chris Jones from Think Recruitment, uh, and then I've got my um, man who sorts my PR out, um, Jordan Foster, who, who helps me so much, uh, my boss for a board, who gives me a job in the evenings, um, and just everyone that supports me, you know, this, this journey's not over yet, so I'm going to keep it going in 2020, so thank you to everyone that, everyone that supports me, my girlfriend, everyone. Thank you. Lewis Smith, thank you for speaking to IFL TV, hopefully we'll catch up with you soon. Thanks.